Okay, hello, Jemma's Makeup here, and you might notice by the shirt that there is a South African theme running through this video, and that is for very good reason. I am going to be delving in to the Cape Town palette by Essence. Now, I've been waiting for this palette for a minute, because I've seen Essence has done all sorts of other places. They've done Paris. They've basically taken us around the world with these welcome to blank palettes, and now it is time for the Cape Town palette, so let's dive into this. The palette itself is absolutely stunning. I cannot get enough of this. And the shades are just as beautiful. You can see there's a beautiful, very earthy undertone running here. And I'm sure you can't help but miss the fact that there is a mirror in this palette as well. You can also see there's a variety of shades. There's a variety of different finishes. We've got mattes, we've got shimmers. We've got everything you could possibly want and need. The Cape Town palette is giving what it needs to give, okay? This is good. And I'll let you in on a secret. I've played with this bad boy before. I've done a couple looks at this, but today I'm here and I want to do a Cape Town, South Africa inspired makeup look. I'm gonna do some creative makeup for beginners and show you just how versatile and stunning this palette is. I've prepped my skin off camera and now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with this deep brown shade and I'm gonna get going with the look. You'll see, one eye's gonna be normal and I want one eye to have like a literal table mountain on it. So we'll see how it goes. Getting that line work down. Now, what I love about these is they're super soft and super pigmented. First, I'm just gonna start by stamping on kind of a wing shape. Oh, you can see, this is something you could already do yourself. If you're nervous or intimidated by liquid liner, you could so easily go in with a flat brush, a fine little brush, and do your liner this way. It's super easy and it feels like there's less pressure, which I know helps a lot when you're doing your liner. However, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna do this on the other side and then move on to the next step. Okay, I've got the wing portion down and you could totally stop here, add a little one of the shimmers in the inner corner. I think that's actually what I did for my last look. For my last look, I used this blue as like a wing and I put the shimmer on my lid and I had a sexy little monochromatic look. If you look at this, you can literally see so many different eye looks, all just sitting within here, within the palm of my hands. But let me not get carried away. I'm gonna take this wing and I'm gonna bring it over so that it comes and it makes like a swoop over my eye. I'm gonna connect it so you'll see the vision. Going back in with the same brown shade because I'm going to connect it. And I've zoomed you in because this is super beginner friendly creative makeup. Honestly, this is one of the first more creative eyeshadows I learned because it is so easy. And I'm gonna take you right with me. So here's my wing. I'm going to stamp out, and it's going to be rough because I'm going to carve it out. I'm going to stamp out like a line that goes over my eye. If you have hooded eyelids, you're going to want to make sure that this is above the crease. And I'm going to connect it to my wing, just like that. Right? Super simple, super effective. Now I'm going to do the same on the other eye, and then I'm going to pack a little bit of this eyeshadow pad on a fluffy brush and blend it out. Okay, super simple. Now to blend this out a little bit, just on the top. Once again, as with everything, I'm gonna ask you to trust the process. With a fluffier brush, I'm dipping into the same, once again, brown eyeshadow. Promise, I promise that I'll get a little more creative with the colors very soon. And I'm gonna go over the line I just did and I'm gonna blend it out it's okay if it's a little messy on your actual lid because I'm going to carve that out and add a shimmer. Just going really lightly with my hand and making little circular motions. Because we don't want this to be crazy. I still want some space on my lid, especially there because I have some ideas. See how beautifully that blends out. Oh, I love that it's so pigmented, but it still is able to blend out and create that softness. Oh, I could eat this right up. Here you can already see the difference it's made on this eye to that eye. That is insane and I've done that so quickly. I, the eyeshadow palette is speaking for itself. I won't even say anything. Okay, that is that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease off camera just using a flat brush and some concealer. Okay, now I've made a clear space open on my lid and I'm sure you've noticed, I've been wearing a little Springbok shirt and that is exactly why I'm gonna go in with gold on the lid because we brought him the gold, babe. Ah, look at me, I'm being so smart. I'm being so smart. There's hidden messages in this. Not really because I told you, but anywho, I want you to see how beautiful this shimmer is. I'm gonna go in once again with flat brush so I can pack it on in the space that I've created. And I'm gonna go right into this gold. Oh, that is beautiful. And looking into the mirror from the palette because that is so convenient, I'm going to pack this on. Look at that. 
I'm actually going to zoom you in just because you need to see how absolutely stunning that gold is. Look how bland, you know, simple, could be cute, could be sexy, but this, that gold is insane. Like, that's World Cup gold. That is World Cup gold. I'm completely obsessed with this. I'm going to do the exact same on this eye. As you can see, I've also gone ahead and added a little bit of that shimmer there, but my inner corner is still empty. Sometimes I find that if I bring the shimmer right into the middle, that it kind of throws off the look. So what I've been loving doing recently is I will take a light shade. This is also very similar to my skin tone. And I will kind of use that to blend the shimmery part into my skin. So I'm going to tap in right into this and kind of fill in this little gap I have over here. And now, of course, this eye look wouldn't make any sense, especially since I'm kind of doing a little Springboks tribute, if I didn't add some green. And this palette has the most beautiful green. Honestly, this is my favorite shade in the palette. Even in the TikTok I made, I was like, this green is calling me. So, of course, I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of put just a little bit of that green in the middle of the bottom of my lash line. Here is a close-up on how the eyes are looking. You can see the gold shimmer. I've zoomed you in a little bit so you can see what the gold shimmer is doing. It is really completing the look as well as the green on the bottom. It just adds another dimension, adds a little another layer of color and I'm completely obsessed with this. But now I'm gonna get ambitious, to put it lightly. You could stop here. This looks a lot more challenging than it actually is. And I've shown you, it's really actually so simple and so achievable with this super pigmented palette. But now I have the goal of drawing Table Mountain over here on my eye. And I'm going to do it with the eyeshadow palette, so stick with me. I'm using tiny little paintbrushes like this and I'm going to dip in and I'm going to start by stamping it out. So, the real trick to doing any kind of face art is shading. You want to have lights and darks. Thankfully, this palette could provide me with both. I have the darkest shades that I used for the mountain, but I also had the lighter shades which allow me to create a perception of depth. Within this Table Mountain, it's actually super simple. The silhouette of Table Mountain is something we all know and trust. If you forget, you can look at the packaging on the eyeshadow. And then just to blend it out and give it a base, I went in with some of this green and once again this lighter shade. <laughs> you can even see there's a little bit of there's a little bit of green in this lighter shade. To be able to give it like a grassy patch to rest on. You're going to want to make sure you go back and forth with your light and your dark, adding layers until your table mountain has some depth to it. This palette works perfectly because it's super pigmented and you're able to create imagery like this. It also just shows you the multifunctional aspect that is to this eyeshadow. If you wanted to, you could use this as contour, you could use this as blush. These shadows are the perfect pigment for whatever you want them to be. There is no limit. I would even use these brown shades as freckles on the same small kind of brush. Truly, you can do anything and everything with this. So, so, as you can see, I have a little table mounted on my eye as promised. Now, the beginner eyeshadow, it's creative, it's friendly, it's there. If you're feeling ballsy, table mounted. I present to you, in the palm of my hand, Table Mountain. And that is the finished look. I think this is a beautiful way of introducing you and welcoming you to the Welcome to Cape Town palette. I love this through and through. I really think the palette speaks for itself. And I love how this look came out. I can't wait to post it and show everyone. But yes, welcome to Cape Town. And this is your warm, warm, warm welcome to creative makeup and very pigmented but affordable eyeshadow.